Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and map your PlayStation style controller with Botacera. So if you're coming from other emulation platforms like RetroPie, the process for mapping this controller is going to be ever so slightly different here. So I'm going to go through this step by step, show you exactly what you need to do. For today's video, I'm going to be using this PlayStation 2 style controller. It really makes no difference which style of PlayStation controller you're using. They're all going to have pretty much the exact same functions and features on the gamepad itself. So makes no difference there. Also makes no difference whether you're using a wired version or wireless. For today's video, I have a wired one right here, just because I'm sitting right here at my desk, a foot away from my computer. So it really makes no difference whether I have wireless or wired in this case, but you know, it's gonna be the exact same process. So let's jump into it and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do in order to set up and map our PlayStation style controller with Botticera is we're going to first connect it to our PC. So here I have a wired PlayStation style gamepad controller. I'm going to just plug this into the USB port on my PC here. Now, if you have a wireless receiver PlayStation gamepad controller, you can go ahead and plug in your dongle into the USB port on your controller. And if you're using a Bluetooth gamepad controller, then you need to first pair it via Bluetooth. But once you've paired it, then the mapping process is going to be exactly the same as what I'm gonna show you here today. So the next thing we need to do is we need to access the main menu of Botticera. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to do that with this gamepad controller because it hasn't yet been set up. So I'm gonna be using a keyboard. Now you don't have to use a keyboard if you've already set up another gamepad controller. You can use that to access your main menu. I have my keyboard set up currently, so I'm just going to hit the space bar on my keyboard. And if you do already have a gamepad controller set up, then you could just hit start with that gamepad controller and that's going to open up your main menu. From here, we're going to go down to the third option down, which says controllers settings. We're going to select that option. And right at the top, you'll see it says configure a controller. So we're going to select that option. You're gonna get this little prompt here, basically just saying that you're configuring a controller and it's gonna give you some tips on how to do so. So we're just gonna select okay. And it's gonna to come to this configure input page. And it says right here, one gamepad detected. And that's this one right here because I did plug in the USB connection here right into the USB port on my PC. So I do wanna mention before we get started here, if you have a PlayStation 2 style gamepad controller like I do right here with the analog feature, you wanna make sure that you push that button and you get this light here. That's basically just activating the analog sticks here. So make sure that you do that prior to jumping into the mapping portion of this. So right here at the bottom, it says hold a button on your device to configure it. So we don't have an A button on here, but you can hold any button on your gamepad controller. It's going to flash the name of your gamepad controller in the bottom of this box and immediately reroute us to our mapping portion of this. So I'm gonna do just that. And here we go right into configuring. So here you'll notice that there's a list of different functions for the gamepad controller. And we basically need to go along with these different prompts here and just hit the corresponding buttons on our gamepad controller. So for up, down, left, and right, that's referring to the D-pad. You can see that there's a little diagram to the left of the title of each, each button function. So for up, we're gonna to go to our D-pad, we're gonna hit up. For down, we're gonna to go to the um, D-pad down, hit that. For left, we'll go to D-pad left, and for right, we'll go to D-pad right. For start, we'll hit our start button. For select, we'll hit our select button. So now for these buttons here, it says A, B, X, and Y. Obviously with a PlayStation style controller here, we don't have any labelings that really uh, correlate to A, B, X, and Y because we have the symbols here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go off of that diagram to the left of each of these labels. So here you can see that it's referring to what would be our circle here on the PlayStation style controller. So we'll hit circle for A. For B, we're gonna hit X. For X, we're gonna hit the triangle. And for Y, we're gonna hit the square. So now for the analog sticks here, you'll notice that this is actually quite different than most other emulation platforms when you go to map the controller, because we don't use all four directions on the analog sticks. We're only gonna go up and left for both left analog and right analog. So for left analog, it says left analog up, we'll push it up. For left analog left, we'll push it left. Same thing on the right hand side, for right analog up, we'll go up. For right analog left, we'll go left. So for L1, that's gonna be our left shoulder button up here, we'll hit that. For R1, that's gonna be our right shoulder button. For L2, that's gonna be our left trigger button. For R2, that's gonna be our right trigger button. And now for L3, that's going to be our left analog where we actually use the button function here. So we're gonna push that in. Same thing with R3. We're gonna push in the right analog button in. 
and then hotkey, that's going to be the button that we use along with the start button in order to exit games. So I always use the select button here. So that just means that when I go to use uh, the hotkey function in order to exit a ROM, I'm going to hit select along with start in order to jump out of it. So all of that has programmed in correctly. So you can see that we've highlighted OK now. So in order to save everything, we're going to hit the X button down here. That's going to save everything in there. And then just to check and make sure everything is working properly, we can see that we're able to go up and down here. Um, circle should be the back button. X is going to be select things. So I'm going to go down, just back out of this with circle. And I'm gonna just jump into a game real quick. Let's jump into PlayStation 2 here. And we'll just open up the first option here, which is SmackDown Shut Your Mouth, just to see exactly how this works. So I'm not gonna actually test out the game. I just wanna let the game actually load in and then use my hotkey in order to exit this. So I'm gonna hit select and start at the same time. And that should bring me right out of the actual game and back to my main menu. So here I can hit circle again, jump through my different collections. We can see clear as day, everything on this controller is working and functioning 100% correctly. All right, so as you can see from this mapping process here, it's really straightforward, super simple. It's actually simpler than RetroPie's setup process, I think. Um, it does have those little differences there, but really pretty much the exact same thing in the end, works the exact same way. It's just actually less buttons and uh, functions that we need to enable on the actual mapping process to get this up and running. So that's gonna do it for today. If you have any questions at all, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below or reach out to me directly. I'm always happy to you know, assist you guys any way that I possibly can. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different videos based around retro gaming and different emulation platforms. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching today.